Okay, what's good, YouTube family? And unfortunately, it seemed like it's clout 6 9 season. I wanted the people who said we didn't even want to give this man no attention, but whatever formula he's using, I'm the first to admit 6 9 is working, my nigga. Whatever formula you doing to for now he's forcing our hands where y'all can call me out if y'all want to, but I have to put him in the title with DJ Academics because that's who we're speaking about and based on the topic they're speaking about. Now, you got 6 9 he, he's going in on Meek Mill again, and DJ Academics is taking his time to go in on it. Academics is even warning 6 9 leave Lil Dirk alone. 6 9 is just violating a lot of dead homies, families, and he's not stopping. Again, I'm going to say it on this video again. Y'all hit that like button for me right quick before we keep going. Hit that like button and share this video. Look, y'all, I'm being threatened and I'm being loved at the same time. All your favorite rappers hit me behind the scenes. Some are good things, some are bad things. I don't like lying. See, it is what it is. Share the video because we are afraid over here and we want the people, everybody involved to see this video, what we gonna break down. Nothing but the truth and it's all the truth. Now, I'm gonna let you listen to some of 6 9 and his antics and what he was doing about so we can get a, a, a good composure of things and understanding. Let's listen to what 6 9 got to say. Look, son is a fucking cornball, son. Nigga wanna take out a fucking gun on IG Live. Yo! Yo, yo why all these rappers got security, but 6 9 got security, it's a different story. I don't get it. I don't know, man. Let him know, let him know. I don't know. Talk to me. Talk to me. Like, talk to me. Like, what do you think? Dude, act, act, you got act a point the, to a certain the, degree. The, the I ain't mad. that the fans really want to know. You should have security if you're a rapper, really in my personal know. opinion. Not the homie on the block. Let, let's listen to him in the academic Yo. part. What's good? Yo, what? What? Why niggas? Yeah, why I'm niggas flexing a little bit low key on it. Come at me, son. It is what huh? it is. Man, listen, I don't care what you're saying. I just want to know. Why me was telling me I wouldn't talk to him like that in person. Yo, 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 yo. Now academics is saying why Meek wouldn't talk to me, saying I wouldn't talk to him like that in person. I mean, Meek Mill put himself in a situation that I didn't want. Little Reese and 600 Breezy, and these are the real ones we all still respect. I didn't want them to start looking like another Meek Mill. You know what I mean? The attention you giving dudes, that Meek Mill giving dudes like 6 9 and DJ Academics, he put himself in a situation where his PR team can't even save him, bro. His PR team looking like oh this nigga already out the out the gates with this bro meek mill is too emotional there's a reason why he's meek aka twitter fingers i ain't hating meek mill i supported meek mill since he was meek mill with the braids i'm only three years older than meek mill or two years older than him I've been following him throughout his career i don't want to hear emotional fans Meek Mill is looking like a sucker out here, and I don't want that for the Reese's and 600 Breezy's. When you listen to this conversation of two dudes who have no idea what you guys go through every day, and they get to discuss three street politics to the world and internationally, I wanted you niggas to be careful who you go back and forth with on the internet. A lot of y'all who threatened me, educational purpose to even kill me. Did we do any police thing on my side? At least not on my side, did I? Now I sound like a Cali nigga, at least not on my side, did I? I've been a hundred about it, and, and a lot of you real so-called steppers out there behind the scenes, we done stepped it up, we done talked about things, and, and I salute y'all, y'all saluted me, and it is what it is. Y'all didn't even have to salute me, but y'all some honorable men. That's what I mean about that. Certain ways, this clown want all this extra like hoopla at him bro he gets minimum 500,000 people at least watching him minimum bro the views that he got didn't make no sense 13 million views in like seven hours 16 million whatever it was and you got well I'm, I'm not gonna complain about no starving rappers y'all need to find a formula that's one thing i don't do i don't hate on the grind so it's just not i ain't gonna hate on him it is what it is with him but i ain't gonna support him neither you know what i mean the code of ethics of things and i ain't even against it telling you this but now you got their conversation it's just rhetoric like this and y'all responding to that jack listen i'm here hold on he said he gonna green light me yeah. got my address he gonna do that he gonna do this no listen I'm gangster. DJ Academics made Meek Mill look so much like a clown. He low-key snitched, but he's proud to tell. He said, 
oh, Meek Mill's talking about how he's going to green light. Man, you think a detect no detectives in the United States domestically don't know what a green light is? He basically just said Meek Mill was trying to off him in front of the whole world. Academics make sure anytime any of y'all threaten him, he will put it out there in the atmosphere. Low key, he'll put it out there in the media world, a.k.a. the internet. Warren Buffett once coined this. The 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 th the things of things. That's what the internet is now. It's the things. It's everything. All things. That's why academics do that. It's not even low key no more, bro. That's what you have now. I'm I'm gonna keep going on with it. Let's push play right quick. All, all I'm saying is this. All I'm say all I'm all I'm saying is this. Look, Meek said this. Meek said this. Meek said, "Yo, Ash, you won't talk." Meek was a gangster on Clubhouse. He said, "Yo, I'm I need the." Meek said this. Meek said, yo, academics, I will smack the shit out you in real life. That's facts. He dropped the I'm info right. on me. I ain't gonna lie to you. Meek Mill did say if he sees 6 9 they gang, I got the tapes. Meek Mill said if he ever sees 6 9 I can't even repeat what he said he'll do to 6 9 if he see him in person. Case in point, we seen it in person and Meek Mill was not. Meek Mill said this one, he was on paper. He ain't even on paper now. And I'm not saying I want him to do anything. I'm just telling y'all, this 6 9 going back and forth thing that you rappers have now, 6 9 is making y'all look like the same character that he is. And the ones like us who follow y'all, who respect y'all, we we're not even hating. We just saying, bro, like, be careful how far and emotional you take it with this weird character that he is. Again, we still don't know who this dude is. None of us know who this character really is. I'm not even trying to hear it, bro. It's the strangest mystery in, in rap since, since... Uh, who who's selling Big Daddy Kane his his gold chains, bro? Like, I ain't even trying to be funny, bro. The greatest mystery in the world, bro. Who is Danny Tanner, aka Snitch Nine? The intro on me, I ain't gonna lie to you. Yo, me. Wait, hold, on, hold on, hold on, I, hold on. I ain't gonna lie to you. I've been asking this question though. I'm waiting for me to get tough with a tough guy. Yo, listen. Yo, yo, you see what I mean? He told yo, me. Yo, me, me rap, he told me. I'm waiting for me to get tougher with the tough guys. But my thing is, here's how Meek lost. Because y'all probably going to say, well, DJ Academics, why don't you get tough with the tough guys? I ain't going to lie. That's why I'm thinking too. So I ain't mad at y'all. But here's the problem. Academics know that he's talking kind of way too tough too. So he can't keep using the defense. Well, you can't get tough with me. Get tough with the tough guys. You are the tough guy, DJ Academics. You and Danny Tanner, nah. Y'all are the tough guys. Because y'all are out here talking real spicy and tough to people back and forth, back and forth. So if something should have happened to Danny Tanner, a.k.a. Snitch 9, and Chip, 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 and Dale Rescue Ranger DJ Academics, you know, like, like I wouldn't cry a single tear, cry me a river. That's why when I'm getting attacked behind the scenes, I got to hold myself accountable. Bless one, you step your toes in this situation, stand on it like a man at the end of the day. It just is what it is. DJ Academics get to make these rappers look like clowns. Danny Tanner, a.k.a. Snitch Nine, get to make y'all look like a clown. And yeah, like they get to fall back and say, but y'all the real thugs, y'all got to do something. But in reality, they behaving like a thug and something will happen to you if your mouth become a full course collision. There will be a damn crash. And we both ain't going to make it out. You know what I mean? One of us got it, but it ain't going to be both of us. That's factual. And, 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 and y'all gave academics and Danny Tanner a pass to get out of this, bro. Now they get to talk spicy like this right here, bro. Yeah, like, hold on. Gangster rappers going to follow him. Have to get gangster with other gangster dudes. You can't bully Safari. You hear that? Gangsters rappers are going to have to finally start getting gangsters with gangsters, dude. I mean, I kind of agree with that. I feel like niggas be coming at me. I don't cry about it like academics. It will feel good to see some of these dudes do the same thing to the other steppers out there. I, I got to agree with that. But you see what I mean? I can still hold myself accountable and be like, it is what it is with us. You know what I mean? But this nigga academics get to cry to the world about it and make y'all look spiritually the, the weakest vessels. I don't think y'all weak. But they're, they're little core fans and weirdos who try to hold y'all accountable to G status. Meaning y'all got to be super gangster 24-7. But they give passes to the talking spicy talks of academics and Danny Tanner. And I didn't want y'all to trip out y'all positions and fall into it, gang. Like, listen to this, bro. And then when actual shit come up, you're not on probation. Now you're 
worried about your safety, your health, your freedom. By the way, academics is repeating things off my video. I don't care what y'all say. The, the, the probation thing, a lot of people brought it up. But I seen when he seen my message, you know, when you <laughs> send somebody a message and it says seen, he seen it. So it is what it is. And I wasn't clout chasing him or nothing. He know the dislike, but at the same time, the respect in my peers that I do have for him. But it is what it is. If something happened to that, man, y'all can't keep giving these characters a pass. They get to talk spicy. But Meek Mill now is the emoji the literal, literal emoji of when keeping it real goes wrong, bro. You the spiritual reality of that 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 situation now. You gotta be gangster. Be gangster with the gangster niggas. I don't wanna be on gangster. Yo, 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 I'm telling you this. this. At, you think when the nigga killed, listen, pop smoke, that's, I don't got nothing. I'm never bad on something. I'm gonna fuck. What? What nigga say? If you from New York, you from New York, I'm gonna fuck. Um, I'm trying to see if you gonna disrespect Pop Smoke. Pop Smoke. You think when a nigga killed Nipsey Hussle? You think when a nigga killed King Bond? They said, "Yo, I don't want to go to jail. I don't want to go to jail." I, I don't. They talking crazy, bro. I'm gonna fast forward it. I think that's appropriate. I'm gonna be honest with you. Don't talk tough with the dudes that ain't tough. Yo, bro, listen, we've been... I, I played enough. Y'all can look for the links in the description box and salute to the YouTubers while I was borrowing a little bit from... Like, I'm, I'm gonna let y'all know what it is. That's the reality I don't want to touch subject on because it, it's out of there, bro. The whole thing look crazy. It's a crazy situation, and you got to take it for what it is, bro. It's a mess up situation that they put themselves in. And I'm gonna be the real blogger, to be honest with these people I respect and say, just fall back a little bit from these dudes' characters and their antics, bro. Because it only benefits them, bro. They're in the big room laughing at y'all. People like us are supporting y'all. We feel y'all pain when y'all come in at them. We like, okay, I'm rooting for y'all. But in reality, I'm sitting back like you falling for they trap. Now this dude, academics, got content for the next two months. We know he don't got a real job no more right now with Complex. Shit, I, I recently got something coming up with Complex. Shout out to Complex and Sean. It is what it is. I got something coming up soon. You know what I'm saying? With the YNW Melly situation, we ain't gonna say too much. We're gonna leave that alone. Shout out to academics for paving the way for dudes like me. I ain't gonna hate, but it is what it is, gang. He gotta chase substance right now and to get new creative content that can generate views. I'll bring more money to match the ones he lost. Remember, you gotta have different sorts of income coming in when you a DJ academics. You can't go back to normal. Not after everything you said with that mouth. You cannot go back to normal, bro. I don't know, bro. Y'all gotta y'all gotta watch it, bro. This is gonna be what it is to the end of time, bro. To the end of time. Blessings to everybody and what y'all got going on, bro. I I'ma stay over here righteously, bro. And, and, and we gotta talk about all this narrative to not let those type of people hijack the situation, bro. Y'all stay blessed, man. Love your family, love your kids, and stay blessed, y'all.